Jeff Israel is with us this morning and I cannot wait to just receive from the wisdom that he has for us today. Do you believe in the story of expansion or do you believe in the story of limitation? Do you believe in the story of love or do you believe in the story of fear? What is your story? Today we are talking about changing your story and different people, depending on your life conditioning, your mind conditioning, when you are growing up, we get to a point in life where we create a story about what is possible for us. And most people's story is a story of limitation. Most people's story comes from a place of fear and pain and wounds. That's the story we come to believe. Now, the truth is you don't have to believe the, your current story. You have the capacity to change your story. But it begins with a decision and an awareness that the life I'm living today is not the life I deserve to live. And for me to change my life, I must change my story. Life begins by changing your story. And you have to understand that changing your story begins when you realize you are the only one, the only one that is responsible to change your story. You cannot blame the government. You cannot blame your mom and dad. You cannot blame your employer. You cannot blame your spouse. You cannot even blame your coach. You are 100% responsible to changing your story. And if it's going to change, it's up to you. It's up to you. You have to get to a place of being responsible and making you know, a declaration that if my life is going to change, I must change my story. Now, when we look at our story and we don't like it, let me tell you what we do. We change the characters in our story, <laughs> not the main character. Do you know who the main character is? The main character is you. You are the main character in this story. Whether your story is the story of drama or a story of fear, the story of, you know, abundance, story of love, you are the main character. You are the creator of this story. And immediately you change your story, immediately you change yourself, your world will change. And so it begins with an awareness that unless I change, I'll always see things the same way. My world will remain the same. And so we begin by changing not the small characters in the story, your father, your cousin, whoever did what, the past. No, changing me, the main character, the main character, which is the person we don't want to change. We want to change everything else and everyone else in our story. If only I can have a different dad. If only I can have a different this and that. If only... I can change my past. If only I can change my something outside of me. Let me be honest with you. As long as you're not touching on the, the main character, your story is not changing. Your life will not change. Your story changes when you change. Begin by changing you. It's a decision. To change yourself, you know, just, just stop for a moment from focusing on where the problem is and pointing, you know, outside of yourself and look within you. What is your story? What story do you tell yourself? Now begin by being honest with yourself. This, when you're dealing with transforming your story, don't just tell yourself a nice story so you can you know, feel comfortable or you can fit into certain circles. No, 
Tell yourself the real story. What is the story that is creating the life you're living today? Is it that you've come to believe in a story of limitation? You know, I, I, I say my program, my program is called Breakthrough with Jeff, where we live life with zero limits. Why? Because I realized, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, as we were growing up, we build limitations. We put ceilings, you know, on how far I can go. And we create a story on what is possible. You are the only one that can break those ceilings because you're the one that put those ceilings up there. And the ceilings for some of us is on our finances. Your story is you can only make a hundred thousand a month. Your story is you can only make 200,000 a month. It's still a story. Now, some of us now that you're making 300,000 a month, you think like you're living the best story. Hey, let me tell you, <laughs> there are boys out there making good money and they have a different story. And so it's always good to, again, look at your inner circle, expand it according to the story, you know, the, the, uh, of the people that you want to bring in, their, in your inner circle. Listen to their story. Listen to what they believe about themselves. Listen to the story they tell about their, the extent of what is possible. I mean, uh, Richard Branson just went to, to space. I like guys like those. Bring people that create possibilities. People that make the impossible possible. People that don't believe in societal conditioning. People that go beyond what their mama told them, what their government told them is possible. Even your government can be limited. You know, even your religion can be limited. So you have to call yourself into that inner committee and ask yourself, is this all that there is? What is possible for me? And then what story have I created? What story of limitation have I created? We are yet to see what is truly possible through the human spirit. We don't know. We don't know. If, even going to space means nothing, I tell you, to the potential of the human spirit. Humanity can do more than we can you know, have the capacity to discover in our lifetime. Now, what does that tell you? That tells you the possibilities are limitless. We are the ones that limit our possibilities. You know how we create these patterns through, um, you know, you try something and it doesn't work, then you tell yourself a story, it doesn't work. You try how many times? Three times, it doesn't work. One way to change your story is to do it again, a fourth time. It doesn't work. Do it again a fifth time. It doesn't work. Do it again the seventh time. It doesn't work. Do it again the eighth time. It works. Yes. Change your story by repetition. Repetition is the mother of skill. Repetition is the mother of skill. You repeat, keep repeating the same, same thing. If you can change the strategy, but the, the goal is to get there. You see, guys that have had breakthroughs, they've had failure after failure, but they keep on going. Repeat the same, repeat the process, repeat the process. It doesn't work again, again. Don't tell the story of a victim. A victim, you know, that there's a, in fact, let me, let me just break down the story. So uh, you can either tell the story of victim the story of the victim or the story of the master. The master is the story I want you to tell. It's the story where you're the captain of your soul. You're the one that decides how far you can go. You decide the limits. You say, okay, this is how far. This is what I want and I'm going for it. Decide the limit. You decide this is life by my terms from this moment. But the victim, on the other side, the victim is the one that lives by conditions. Whatever I found myself, you know, 
it, we call it land helplessness. You just learn to be helpless. And you tell that story of, you know, you're being tethered to a certain uh, space. You can't go farther than that. You can only do this job. You can only be a secretary. You can only be sent here and there. Let me tell you begin to master your life when you master your life you become a leader of what we call self-leadership because if you don't lead yourself if you don't learn to lead yourself this world will not give you a space this world will not move for you <laughs> life is a fight for territory when you when you when you fight for your space unless you fight for your territory you'll never be given to you freedom is never given to you freedom is claimed claim your freedom claim your space on the planet not just by telling people move for me move i'm here no this is not about noise in fact if it's some it's not about noise it's about ideas that you see the the more you shout the more you know that your ideas are not deep enough you need to come from a place of deep ideas where you can reflect on what do I really want? Is this that, you know, is this all that there is? Then from there, how did I build this story of limitation? Who say that, you know, I have to die here? Who say that, you know, I have to live, be in this career forever? Who say that? The, the career you started with on your, you know, 21st birthday is the career you have to be doing in your 40s. Who said that? Changing your story doesn't have a deadline. It's you. You can say this is the deadline. It ends here. This story is not serving my destiny. It's not bringing me a sense of joy. It's not bringing me peace. It's not bringing me love. I don't feel fulfilled. Drop that story. A story, a true story, is the one that gives you fulfillment. And if you don't tell your story with a smile, then it's not your story. <laughs> it's a story you found yourself. You know, you're, you're, you're telling old people's, you know, tales. Or and most of the time, the, these, these, are, these tales are created by, you know, stories of fear. Someone said that some of the things you admire and you see were created by people that are not even smarter than you. Believe in yourself. Begin from that zero place. Decide where you want to go. Decide what will be your story and then stick to it. If you don't know, you know, I offer a free consultation session. I'll give it to you to design your story. Get past your limiting beliefs, the belief that I'm not enough, the belief that I will never make it, the belief that nothing good can come out of me, which in itself is a story. And so what is your story? Is it a story of limitation or a story of abundance? Is it a story of fear or a story of love? What story fulfills you? Is it by your terms? Or is it, are you telling someone else's story? Are you living your parents' story? Or are you living your story? You're not living unless you're living your story. If your story is not serving you, this is the moment. Change your story. This is the moment to change your story. Right now, not tomorrow. You see, people say, okay, oh, one day I will. If you can't change it now, you never change. Why? Now is the time. How do you postpone your happiness? <laughs> you say, oh, I'll be happy. This is, what, this, this is what people do. You postpone your happiness and then you borrow the pain of the future. You say, why wait? Let me suffer. Let me begin to suffer now. So you say, okay, oh my God. See, the future will be like this. Let me just think about how bad things will be and begin to feel bad right now. You see, you can use the same strategy. And instead of postponing your happiness, create it right now. And I'll leave you with three things you can do to shift your story. Number one, shift your focus. Stop focusing on your pain. 
Focus on your pleasure. Stop focusing on fear. Focus on love and joy. Stop focusing on your past. Focus on your present. Stop focusing on what you're missing. Focus on what you have. Be grateful to God for what God has given you and focus on that. And you begin to realize that there's so much in this moment that you can be grateful for. Thank you so much. Over to you, Mikali. And thank you for having me. It's always beautiful to hear from Jeff every single morning. You just come out of that situation and you feel so energized, like you can conquer the world, like you didn't know yourself and now you're here and you can conquer the world. So thank you so much, Jeff, for that. We're taking a very short commercial break. We will be right back. This is Full Circle with Wikali.